All right. Now, once you find a road, kind of want to stay on them. Hold on, I'm just going to scratch my arm a little bit. Ooh, okay. So, choices are forest or open plains. I'll go with open plains first. Just check this. Mappage. Um, I think we're pretty far away from where we started. Yeah. We're, we're a distance away from where we started. And I think at this point in time, if we find any shelter at all, we need to just take it and uh, do with it what we can. There's a lot of bad guys here because it's open plains. I mean, the bad guys are there in um, in the forest as well. Uh, these guys are frozen in time. Oh, he woke up. Hey, buddy, what's up? How are things? Nice to see you, too. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna... And go over here. Oh, we got some buildings. This is good. Let's see if we can fend off the, the creeps around the buildings. I doubt that we'll be able to sneak in effectively. We can try. Make sure no one's following way too close to us. Because if we can try to sneak in, I doubt it'll be possible. But at this point in time, anything we can use as shelter is is good. Preferably something with multiple stories that we can just go all the way up to the top. All right, like I said, I don't think we'll be able to get in here completely undetected. We're gonna have to go in. We're gonna have to go in swinging at this point. All right. All right, we are gonna have to go in swinging. All right. That is okay, though. We took out an entire encampment earlier. Pretty sure we can take a couple of zombies out. As long as the lag doesn't kill us. Check, there's no one behind me. I don't wanna back up into a zombie. That's generally not a good idea. Alright. We're doing good. We're doing good. Now, hopefully we can get rid of those zombies that are in the houses and stuff. Like, wrecking things. Whoop. 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 Alright, we got him. Got one coming around, trying to strafe around behind us. Good thing we are not in the city. Because in the city, there are cops, and cops shoot acid at long range. Also, good thing we're not in the forest, because in the forest, there are dogs. Uh, actually, there are dogs everywhere, but right now, we've been lucky enough to avoid them. So let's just uh, count our blessings, kill some zombies. Hey. 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 This house? I'm, uh, I'm gonna borrow it. See if I can break my way in through here. It'll eventually happen. Come on. All right, I see it breaking slightly. Thank you. Oh dear. There's like a staircase down into here. All right. Well, we'll, we'll go undetected for a little bit. Go incognito. Break this thing down. This place is a nice stone building, so I think it'll it'll work well for us. At least for the first night. If we go undetected, we don't have to do much fighting. It's the main thing. But at night, the zombies, they, they can't hone in on you exactly, but they will tend to attack everything. Alright, that door's locked. There's a, a basement in there. Right, we'll worry about it in a minute. Let's just let's get upstairs. Right, we got some sofas and stuff. 
bathroom. Right, these door, these uh, windows seem to be partially closed off. Right, we got a denim jacket. It's good for us. I hate that the inventory button is on the wrong button. All right, how are we doing on food and water and everything? All right, ourselves a sip of water. We do have a refrigerator in here. Fortunately, it does not look like they have anything good, anything delicious. It'd be nice if they had some water for me, but, you know, I, I guess we can't be too... We did find a lot of chicken rations. I think that's because of the difficulty setting I'm on. That they give you the, the good stuff. Alright, they still haven't detected me. That's good. Pistol book. Then combat book. And a knifing book. We'll just read all of those. It's actually telling us what we get, which is good. Alright, I think once we get up here, we should be safe. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, I have to... Um... Okay. Maybe you cannot get up here. All right, I understand none of that. Okay, we'll uh, we'll ignore the roof for now. Their axe out. We do have more houses to uh, to explore though, which is good. I'm not entirely sure what I did right there, but um, I hit the two button. Uh, let's see what's in the medicine cabinet. Nothing. Right. Um, one more room. Oh, they have a bed. Empty nightstand. Uh, let's, let's toss some junk in the empty nightstand for, the, for a moment while we uh, get things sorted out. You have, you have eggs, actually. Interesting. We put in, put some stuff in the shelf here. Um, inventory, crafting. Where is you? There. I guess, is there a button I can click to auto-do that? Definitely put the chili in there. We don't really need the chili at the moment. And, uh, I'm going to the crafting menu again. Really quickly make ourselves up one more of these. Because the one we currently have is about to break. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to get ourselves a secure storage chest. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how how this is working out. I'm going to craft up four of these. Uh, sorry this is taking long. I'm just not used to the, I'm not acclimatized to the game yet. Um, let's, let's throw this back down. I was having too much fun with that. Can I set this as my spawn? No, I cannot.
I can do this, however. That on the wall. It's, that is definitely not a fire hazard whatsoever, by the way. Still undetected. Pretty good. Um, hold on, I'm gonna check and see if I can make a, a craft a sleeping bag. Please. All right, sleeping bag. Uh, no, I cannot. I do not have enough cloth fragments, though we can get some of that pretty easily. I uh, don't quite like all these windows. I'll probably have to do something about them sooner or later. For the moment, we'll leave them. Uh, should we break in here? It looks pretty secure. I think we'll worry about it later once we have an actual axe. Yeah, we'll do that when we have a, an axe axe. Uh, it's not going to be useful to us yet. Alright, well, we, we, we're going to come back here because we're going to use this as our, our uh, temporary bunker. So, we got a couple more zombies. And I kind of want to clear this entire region out. We've been doing pretty good. We've been on a roll. Uh, so we're going to try and... I'm going to fill up on food first. I'm going to... Oh god, we're out of water. I forgot that. But that's how that works. All right, so we want to quickly find a source of water. Otherwise, we're going to have to die and just run back here, which I can do. Come on. Also, by the way, we've probably slipped into episode two by now. I'm pretty sure of that. All right, we don't want to dehydrate for long, so... Just drink some zombie blood. That'll probably help. Sure that'll have no negative repercussions for us whatsoever. Are there more zombies, or is that just him dying? Alright. We're getting... I'm not gonna lie, we're getting a little unlucky here. Are you, um... Friend, there's a, there's a door right here. Oh, never mind. Let's just let them do their thing. I'm gonna pop around the back here and hit them upside the head. Now, this is a, this is actually a pretty big town. I'm surprised. Good, finished him off. Um, is there anything else good around here? I guess we're gonna have to mash our way into a home and find ourselves something to to drink. Hopefully this door isn't locked. Right. Of course it would be. This is a zombie apocalypse. Everyone takes the time to lock their door before they run for their lives, right? I mean, I would. That door's unlocked. Well, this is a... This is a very quaint home. I like it. And we've got some glass jars. It's good if we ever find water. Um... There we go. Thank you. Just as the indicator popped up, it's just like, oh, you're thirsty, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, game. Um, so you can actually, I believe, get uh, water from the toilet and cook it. Uh, we don't need to do that right now, so we're just going to ignore ignore the fact that you can do that. Uh, this does not appear to smell, so we'll hold on to it. 
Ash bin is untouched. And if we survive the night, I might end up I might end up moving in here. Are we undetected? We are undetected. We've almost cleared this this little town out, actually. And that would be a good thing. If we can clear it out, then we don't need to be too scared at night. <clears throat> One old bed. I think you can break those down for... I apologize, but this door needs to come down right now. Hopefully this won't bring the whole house down. I know that sometimes this place is a little glitchy and it causes the house to go down. That would be really bad for us. Also, our stamina isn't draining. Maybe that's... Uh, Part of what this, uh, um, apparently this thing is really fortified. Got, like, mega fortified door here. Oh, I see what's going on. Like, bits and pieces of it are coming off. This is probably the last layer before we actually get to the door. I like that you can fortify your doors. That being said, looking at these fortifications, I'm overly convinced that they don't help at all. Like, just putting metal plates on your door does not make your door stronger. Like, the average door can be kicked down by the average adult. <laughs> so, just putting metal plates on it is not going to prevent someone from going kick and knocking your door down. Alright, let's see. Now these are like big thick doors are harder to kick down, but the, the thing is that they're very weak around the lock. So if you only have one lock on your door and someone kicks it like hard enough, it'll just break the portion of the uh, the door where the lock is. I mean, it doesn't doesn't really require that much force. All right, we got some parts. Ourselves a shotgun barrel. Shotgun receiver is good. I don't like the short shotgun, and I don't really have the parts for a hunting rifle. I don't feel like wasting my time carrying it. I will pick up the bullets, though. I am not opposed to having bullets. Um, hesitant to cut apart the cloth in here, because I might move in here eventually. I will cut these cloth, though. Pick all those up. Mm. I don't want the old couches. The old couches are ugly. You can get me one of those nice leather couches. The door is locked, that's right. Did we check you? Let's check the trash bin. It's got feathers. I'm satisfied with that. It was a good find, everybody. Congratulations. Oh, a sports bag. Covered in blood. Ooh, a pistol slide. We're doing good on the pistol Taj here. Uh, let's replace... Let's get our wooden club out and see what that does. If we run into any more zombies, that is. Pretty sure there's more around here somewhere. And we've cleared most of them out. Another building the same as the one we are we are setting up shop in, actually. Uh, a trash container. We could go up there and search the trash, but... We could also completely ignore it because it's trash. But then again, it might be good stuff. So that could be a mistake in the making. Uh, the store's locked. Does that help? Oh. 
Hey, uh, friend, I see you have a problem over there. Let me help you with it. I like the club animation. Just like... Boop. It's nice and fast. I'm not sure how strong it is, actually. Seems to be, like, a faster attack. What's with everyone unlocking their doors? Come on. It's a zombie apocalypse. Alright, guess we have to break it in the old-fashioned way.